today on the chopping block. Actually, it is a chopping block today, but it's 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 it's, it's on a lazy suit. The lo, no, the lazy Susan is on top of the chopping block to support this thing. Oh God, it could it this show could end at any moment right now. Hold on, wait a second. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Hi, welcome back to Loveless Guitar. Today on the chopping block, <laughs> I have for you a very beloved. Oh God, here, help me! I got coffee here. Wait a minute. Let's put this away. Let's, let's start all over again. Hi. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Shh. Wait, wait. <clears throat> hi, hi. Welcome back to Loving the Guitar. Well, I like to talk about guitars and how they move me. Today on the chopping block, we have none other than the. Harley Benton 552 <laughs> FTF and uh, it's it's quite a it's 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 quite a thing for me that is um, that uh, this kind of achievement you can get at, at such a <laughs> An incredible entrance fee, if that's what you want to call it. Oh, God. Here's, here's the microphone. It's all the way here. You know what? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? L l l l let's not focus. Well, I tell you what. This is... I know. Here, yeah, let's do this. This part of the show is the, oh, is for is for the, the angles of the cam. The cam Camera angles. Camera angles. Here we go. Let's just get this out of the way. Look, look. Look how good this is. Like, I mean, seriously? I mean, like, are you kidding me? This, this nice? Th like this? Like this? Seriously? It's supposed to, is this, I, 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 you know what? I don't know about you. I don't know about you, you or anybody else or how people see things. Like, but, uh, I'm impressed. Look, I mean, seriously, let's go, let's go. Let's, I'm going to let it do its thing by itself because they're like, I just kind of like, uh, it, oh God, it's so dirty. I just realized it, but uh, it is what it is, right? It's kind of, it is. I know that. Hey, listen, you know, I just, just be thankful. This thing is uh, spinning around uh, and uh, it hasn't fallen yet. <clears throat> it, this is all a test, see? See his, uh, uh, oh my God, it really could fall at any moment. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so the show's going to end just about now. I'm just going to put it right here. Let me just move this part of the stand right here. Okay, because it could fall off the book. Because it's on top of a book, which then is on top of a Lazy Susan, which is on top of a, uh, uh, a bread cutting board, which, because of the table is uneven, I had to put in some wedge, a few pieces of paper, to hold it upright, so it, it, it it's not well. It's it, it's gonna shake anyway, but uh, it's it's a little. It's more level than it was before. Because of the table, see that like the table top was I had a divot. It's not something that I could take care. I could have taken care of, I guess, with with the with the feet. Folks, this is a guitar channel. All right, look. I mean, look. It was moving. It was spinning around. I mean, come on, give me some. Give me some, uh, throw me some props here. You know, like, I, it's quite an achievement. Look, it's moving. All right, look, all right, look, look. Over here you can see it has this very, very nice figure. Is it a veneer? No, I don't think it is. I think it's something cooler than that. It just says, uh, what does it say? It says the top is maple, flame. They didn't say veneer. They didn't say veneer. They didn't say veneer. You know what? In some other models, they'll say veneer. Folks, this is insane. Okay, all right. So, uh, uh, listen. Yeah, take it for what... <laughs> however you want to spin this. Oh, God, I keep on talking. Like, oh, wait, wait. Okay, uh, are we through spinning? I'm going to spin one more time. Bravo! Bellissima, che bel, che bellissima, mira, mira, che bellissima, mira, mira, toc, 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 mira, la, volume.
<risa> el tono. Muévelo arriba, por abajo, como quieres. Esto es de Harley Benton, una modelo que parece más o menos <risa> como tú sabes, una mamá, como tú sabes, como, como Gibson. <laughs> Esto no es es un Gibson or Chipson. <laughs> so this is not a Chipson either, or a Gibson, or many. This is actually a Harley Benton. This is a Harley Benton five fifty two. FDF. This is one of my top three Harley Bentons that I, I've ever played. Look at this guitar spinning around. It spins around. It spins around. Look at the guitar spinning around. Oh God, this is making me dizzy. second that's spinning and this one is the Harley Benton SC 450 Honeyburst mm -hmm. let's see what can, oh what can I say about this this is a really nice okay guy we keep on doing this like I keep on talking I right, so wait we're spinning, we're spinning, look, the guitar is spinning, it's spinning, it's almost falling off the table, hold on, no, oh, it almost fell off the table, okay, hold on one second, say something, hold on, let me just, wait. just uh, maybe you gotta center this a little bit more, okay, here we go. It's spinning, it's spinning. Oh my God, it's spinning like a, you're like a goddess spinning on a table. Oh, look at you. Oh God, you're so pretty. Oh, shoot. I mean, seriously. <laughs> she's, she's also quite zoftic. I mean, do you see that? There's a zoftigness in it. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> this is, this is, she's, 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 she's a little extra, don't you think? I mean, but no, good, but in a good way, I think. I, I, I like extra, don't you? I, I mean, so, well, some people, maybe some people don't, but, uh, but there's, look, for those who, they look, there's this, so there's a, it's, she, she, she's, you know, she has, she's figured. She's well figured. That's right. That's well, well figured. Now, but now, let me tell you something. Here's the difference. I noticed something different. Now, as we can see, the body on the FTF or the 552 Harley Benton. This is a this is a not a zoftic body. Do you think these two bodies are the same? Oh my God, you're missing one of the key features about these two models. These two bodies are not the same. Look at, look at, look at all the, the dimensional parts to it. The body shape on the bottom. Look at the two horns. Look at the two top parts. How they how they enter this the it this 
they're completely different. Everything about them is different. It's a completely different... It's a single cut. There are two single cuts. <clears throat> I don't know what uh, model they're following. I don't know if this is a any a G brand model or what model this is. It's just a really cool single cut. It looks like a G brand that we're all familiar with. And I'm tell, telling you, this is quite a player. This, I got this before. I got this one. Oh, not fun. And this, <laughs> wait a second. Hopefully this makes sense in the end. You know what? I, I didn't know I was going to do it this way. Give me a break, folks. I'm going to, I'm, I'm taking everything apart. I'm moving the, I'm moving the mic right back here so that this is where it usually is. And then I don't have to think about it because you know what? The more I think, the worse it gets. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> Hello, folks. Welcome back to Loving's Guitar, and sometimes I'm going to make sense of all of this. Today on the chopping block, we have two chicken necks we're going to chew off. And the rest of the body's just going to go jumping around headless. That's me. All right, folks. We have two models of Harley Bentons. This one came out years ago, and it... Well, this one also. <laughs> but this one is an older version. Like um, from a long time ago. And it was already um, at that time when it came out. Even when I first got it, whatever. And actually, by the time I got this, this had already come out. <laughs> I'm, I'm behind. I'm behind. I'm sorry. I, that's, my, that's the speed I'm going at. Folks, uh, keep up. All right. Oh yes. By the way, if I forget, because I, you know, I have those slippery moments in life. You know, I'm an elder now. You know, uh, I'm A A R P man. All right. Oh, I'm so punk rock. I love this. Before I forget, it would be really cool if you subscribed. If if, if by chance you like this button, or oh, if by chance, if you accidentally hit any button, hit the like button or subscribe button. That would be even cooler. Ooh. You would be contributing to my retirement plan. Thank you very much. <laughs> on behalf of Loving's Guitar, let's get on with the show. So, this I've had about a year more than I've had, no, two years more than I've had this one. So, yeah, it's going to say a year and a half, but no, it's about two years more. This, when I got this, this is an incredible guitar now. Seriously. This is <laughs> this is an incredible guitar. Um, for the money, you can do the I, yeah. That's a, <sighs> this is also an incredible guitar for the even for both again for the money. What, what am I? And even with for, regardless of the money, how about that? <sighs> this I feel so confident showing up in any. You know, it may not be the the I don't. Well, he, I have a few things that I don't like about it. It has nothing to do with the guitar. It's to do with me, how I feel about it. Like I, the only thing I don't like about this is the gloss, like this heavy gloss. I really now this, despite it having gloss, it's not that heavy. At least it doesn't feel that heavy to me. I wouldn't want anything changed to this car, guitar. Don't you touch this guitar? I want to just leave it just like this forever. This is perfect the way it is. I don't want to change the pickups. I love these pickups. These Tesla pickups and these this guitar is great. This guitar has sp split coils. That's wonderful for those people who like that. This guitar, no split coils. It just has these pickups in it, these Tesla pickups. And it sounds like a burst bucker in, in, my, in my mind or like a pro bucker. Is that it? What's in the Epiphone Flying V? That's what I, I have that. And it reminds me of that. And I love those pickups in my Flying V, uh, Epiphone Flying V. For, man, that, but that's what this reminds me of. And it's like, are you kidding me? I'm getting that with this. Now this is a great guitar.
So, um, I'm sorry. There's there's a whole lot of construction going on. You might hear this. Like, oh my God! I'm like, oh. All right. So they're drilling something. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's oil. Maybe am I on oil rich country? Uh, they're just drilling away. I. You know what? This is the way it is sometimes. Maybe I'm not the noisiest one in the block today. saying look both of these guitars both of these sisters here are completely different in every way in every in every way possible not only do that to me well you know what they may sound actually similar <laughs> how about that but they're not affecting that the, the way they affect me is different I mean now the, the pickups on this one here, it just makes me play differently. Picks, pickups on this one here makes me play differently. You can see that these two bodies here are quite different from one another. Other than the fact they're single cut and kind of look like, you know, LPs, Gibsons, right? They look like they give you that look. And they're not. Not a chibzin either, but it is made from ch in China. Well made, I should say. Um, Harley Bendens. This is the SE 450 Honeyburst, and this is the 552 FTF. Exceptional. This. Uh, well, first of all, this one is an exceptional guitar. So you know. <laughs> As much as I will normally gravitate to this one first, this one here has now become such a main player for me and my my, my close knit girls. You know, this one here is just she's such a good girl. I mean, this is still a good girl. She's so solid. I mean, uh, from the very 
first time I picked her up, we were very solid. Just, it felt so, so worked on. And so, I like it, and it was all polished, you know. It's, I mean, it, it, it was done very well, I think. Um, it's just that the, these pickups here, I, I have to be frank about them. Um, e uh, these Tesla pickups, I, I can't even remember what, 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 you guys check the model, what kind of, which, because Tesla makes a lot of pickups. They're seriously a pickup company, and uh, so you just, just uh, they make a lot of pickups. So, uh, but they, the ones they put matched in these, uh, these models, I hope Harley Benton doesn't take that, but, or change them in any way, because I think the, it's, this is a really well matched piece. Um, maybe I'm just lucky, maybe, you know, everything about me getting these guitars as examples for me, and I, I I didn't get them, like no, nobody gifted me these things. I, I paid for these guitars myself. So, um, but I've also been very um, uh, um, honest about when I feel something is different. My way of rating a guitar is not by how well it looks like, you know. That's not how I rate guitars. I rate them by how they make me feel. Because the same guitar can make you feel differently. So then, what are these things? These there's there's no there's no specific standard of any metric to say that that is a good guitar or that's a bad guitar, except for the fact that, well, if it stays in tune, and does what it does, isn't it a guitar? Because everything else is then a bad guitar, right? <laughs> so if it could just do that, can is it a guitar now? If it could do that, if it looks pretty, this and that, well, then you're getting into style, isn't it? You know. But if it can actually form and function for over a long period of time so that it can actually be used as a tool for a vehicle, for an artist or someone who wants to just explore, is that enough? If, does it meet all those object objectives? Yes, both of these things do. Are you kidding me? This is what you, this plays way better than, a, you know, any, I, I don't, I, I, I've played a few other brands that, are, that have been blowing me away lately, and I think I'm going to be addressing them and showing them off to you. But for the meantime, I'm really, I'm really supporting this whole Harley Benton kick, and I'm not ashamed of it, because <laughs> I'll play against any, any Gibson. Why? Because they want, they want to rub elbows with these girls? Fine. <laughs> Go ahead, Gibson lovers. I'm a Gibson lover. There's no reason why these two girls can't actually do a whole set list on stage, do what they have to do as workhorses, and get the job done, period. And what do you get home? You go you go on stage with a, a, a guitar that actually works. Both of these things stay in tune. They work. They, all, everything works, right? The nuts in, in the place. The saddles are in the right places. The, the bridge is adjusted to the correct height. The frets are on, they're on point. I mean, the neck is like refined. It feels great. You can act this one here. This is, this is both of these girls are they're, they're shredders. I'm not a shredder, but these both of these girls are shredders. Both of these girls you can shred on easily. Yeah, this is a, like total fusion, fusion freak. You could do that, and 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 this one here is is more like a Jeff Becky bluesy fu fusion. This one here is more McLaughlin-y fusion, and this is more Jeff Becky fusioning. So that's what I'm thinking. You know, so <laughs> does that make any sense to you? <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, uh, but yeah, they're, they're exceptional. I mean, look at this. I mean, what? You know, like 20, 30 years ago, what we 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 be paying a fortune to get one of these things just to even play like this even like what, what were the what were the b-rated brands back in the day 30 years think about 30 30 40, 40 years ago 30 40 years it was hondo like 40 years ago i was getting hondos you know and what was i paying i was paying about 200 250 bucks or for an electra an electra uh, mpc model 
And I think I, that was like, you know, $300, $400 model, which I actually got that one as a trade. I traded some other guitar. I think, I can't remember what, I, I traded a lot of guitars back in the day. Like even my Gibson ES-125 semi-hollow body, I traded that. I should have never traded that. <laughs> even though uh, it, it was a hard player because you know, every time you change the strings, the bridge would fall off, <laughs> the, 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 you know, because it, it was a semi-hollow body. And it feedback so much because it didn't have a center block, so um, it was, I should have kept it. It was a, and it was it was in great condition. It had checking all over it. The entire, it was natural checking. Uh, it would have been a collector's item, but I was foolish me. And then I, oh, then of course I made another mistake by selling my Gibson, uh, 1962 Gibson SG. Yes, I had one of those with P90s. Uh, for several years, I even went to Berkeley with it. Um, College of Music, and then finally I, I had broken the neck on the headstock three times, two or three times or something, and finally gave up on it, so I, I started switching, and went and went over to my next guitar, which would be a Super Strat with a Kaler uh, trem system. The long story of that is that <laughs> that guitar took me nowhere. <laughs> Just no. All I, I had to trade it down, and I finally did you know, and then I, you know, I, I got a, I got a Hondo, and I got a, a Electra, no, and I had the Electra, but I upgraded it then, it was like, are you kidding me, it was like, are you, it was the secret sauce, you know, those kind of like a Gibson inspired uh, Les Paul Juniors, but with humbuckers, I didn't, I wasn't caring for anything that had an arch top, no arch tops, you know, um, it wasn't my thing, it kind of got in the way of my playing. It kind of messed up how I would approach my strumming style because I had an arch top. So I kind of steered away from it. And plus, the Gibson Les Pauls were always, they were the heaviest things. It was like carrying an SVT on your shoulders for the whole night. Are you kidding me? Why do I need that? No, no, no. no. So I, I needed lightweight guitars, and that's why I, you know, my punk life, I played lightweight guitars. Um, but um, this, this is like, looks like a heavyweight, which I would have considered a heavyweight. Well, this is a little slightly heavier than this one. I can't remember what the weight is right now. Maybe I, I, I will point out the weight later on. Hopefully, maybe it'll, it'll pop up on the screen. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, this is just, uh, this, this is a lightweight, actually. It's it's just too good to be true. It's just really too good to be true. It's so I I I I can't say enough for this. Um, uh, uh, I I kind of want another one, just so that uh, if I need to like pass a good model to someone, they have it. But I just want to keep this one. But I also want to know like there's no way I would I would I would want to part with this. And you, uh, for the for what I paid for, no, you you'd have to pay me more money to to get to get no, it's it's just quadrupled, cause I, I wouldn't I actually you know no no I, you know what I have so much attachment to this guitar already that uh, I wouldn't let this go for a thousand. I you know if somebody offered me a thousand now you know what the the, uh, the happiness I get from playing this thing. The happiness I get from playing this thing, not knowing that I could make uh, a, a, an extra, you know, like, uh, six hundred bucks for, for 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 up, you know, for selling it. No, no. I, the happiness this, this right now is like, is it worth that? Because, I mean, that's just cash, right? But every time I pick this thing and, and I have good times with it, and it really warms up in my hands so fast. This one, it takes a little bit of time. This is I got a little bit of a chunkier neck. This is more of, of almost like a, a very Harley Benton's uh, version of a standard. I think this is like one of the cl their closest version up until whatever they decide to make a better version of this. This I would believe. This is what I would consider their version of a Gibson Les Paul standard. That's their version. Harley Benton, not my version. I didn't say that now, right? I said, I think this is their version. That's all I'm saying, you know? Gibson, 
I love you, Gibson. That's why you're still my favorite guitar <laughs> company. But, you know, I'm just saying that this is a very interesting version of your beloved Gibson Les Paul. Gibson Les Gibson manufacturer. <laughs> but this is a whole different ball of wax. Look, I mean, look carefully, folks. The shape, the bodies are different. This is a little smaller. This is way more zoftic. Look at the look at the top horn, how it how it ends on the on the fretboard. Look at this one here. It starts co coming in. You know, this is actually less arched too. Like on the top, it is actually less arched than this one. This one here is more of a standard arch, and it and that's and I, it was a great idea that they included the pickguard. Because by doing that, it 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 lessens the 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 dramatic change that the arch has by putting the pickguard, you know. But this doesn't require the pickguard, and it and it's totally understanding because it doesn't have much of an arch. <laughs> it does have an arch, but not much. I just, it does it does it's not it's not as dramatic. At least to me, it is. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, this is all a feel thing. Are, are, are you guys still with? Are you still? Are you still following me? All right, all right. Okay. I hope this makes sense to you. You know. You know. I hope you're old enough to understand. You know, old old man gibberish. <laughs> That's all I got, folks. Thank you for watching. It'd be really cool if you found the courage to sub subscribe. If you like this kind of behavior, feel free to leave a comment. All right. You know, I do respond to kindness, you know, and we could all use a little bit more of that. Spread it. Spread some kindness around it. Drink some more water. More water. Drink more water. Yeah, to do that. That's, that's what my daughter tells me. So I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, folks, thanks for watching. See you the next time I get all choked up. <laughs> Something new in my life.